Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to do a Twin Flame Collective Energy Check-in today. So we'll look at the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies in the Collective. Um, I have channeled a few things as well in the Collective energetically, that's why I've been guided to do this reading. Um, definitely energy shifts have been happening collectively and you might have really been feeling this um, bearing the brunt let's say so you might have been feeling very tired you might have had some physical symptoms in particular in the solar plexus I feel so maybe feeling nausea dizziness stomach issues um, for some of you this is to do with healing healing things that are quite deep rooted um, so if you're triggered, something comes up, trust your gut, you know, so that sort of links with the solar plexus, doesn't it? Um, something feels off, trust that, I would say. So, you know, just take your time. If your body says rest, rest. And um, it's quite interesting that this card flew out as well, as I was just shuffling the cards ready for this reading, we got rest. And I thought, wow, you know, that is definitely a big message there for a lot of you. Um, and in fact, it's orange, which is the colour of the sacral chakra. So, yeah, all about emotional intimacy, emotions that might come to the surface, make you feel very tired as you're healing. You could be healing in your dreams, you know, in your sleep as well. As I said, it's it's energetic. So, you know, sometimes you don't even realise it, but you wake up feeling really tired, for example. Okay, let's pull some some more cards then for the collective energy. Wow, yeah, and we've got the colour of the solar plexus there coming out. It says golden memories, yeah, there we go. So memories coming to the surface for some of you. Um, maybe related to your twin flame or maybe it's other things that are coming up for you that you need to heal. A lot of healing energy is coming out in all these cards. So I feel this is happening um, in the 5D in particular. See, even here we've got someone resting. Blue for the throat chakra. And for emotions as well here. So, yeah, maybe some of you need to release and... Find a way of expressing yourself, expressing these feelings that are coming up. If you're creative, you could do it in that way, through writing, singing, journaling, whatever it is you do. We got rose quartz, that's interesting. So yeah, this crystal um, is very good for the heart chakra and attracting love into your life, um, healing definitely coming through there. We've got intentions, set your intentions. Um, it's amazing how, again, we've got the solar plexus being highlighted there. 
And the solar plexus also does help you to drive forward, to feel motivated. A lot of healing energy coming out. Um, chakra alignment, I'm strongly feeling. And the crown chakra. So you might be receiving downloads in your dreams or in meditation that are helping you to find maybe different ways to do things, helping you on your spiritual path. Sacred Mountain. So yeah, you've, you've both had obstacles. You could still have obstacles on the way. These things you need to face. Um, on your journey. We've got different paths coming out here. So different paths are being shown to you in terms of, you know, where you could go, what you could do. Creativity is coming out again here. I'm really getting dreams as well. Um, vivid dreams for some of you, or maybe you're waking up not really remembering your dreams, but you know it was quite significant. So Archangel Raphael is helping the collective right now to heal in particular and, and also send you these downloads because we've got the colour of the crown chakra there coming through. You may even find that you see your angel, you know, your guardian angel or your spirit guides in your dreams. They might even come through as manifestations of different people, even. Wow, this is beautiful. Rainbow wings. So this is, you know, all the colours of the chakra aligned. And when, when you're aligned, your heart chakra is opened and connected with your person, then you both can fly free um, and connect energetically and in the 3D. So obviously it's all, you know, it's all a journey of self, <laughs> um, ultimately. But I'm getting, I'm definitely getting astral projections, astral dreams for some of you that feel very real. Okay, so we're going to pull some tarot then as well. So we'll just start with Divine Feminine. Okay, so this links um, with the memories that came out before, um, Six of Cups. So memories coming to the surface that are making you feel quite emotional, um, you know, quite positive memories for some of you, either about your counterpart or things from your past that are coming up. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling emotions for the Divine Feminine coming through here. Some of you have a blocked heart chakra though, so that's why it's being indicated there in particular. Um, I feel for some of you it's linked to these things from your past that are coming up. Whatever this may be, it doesn't have to just be about your twin flame, as I said. Um, could be things that hurt you in your past and you're sometimes being reminded of these things. And, you know, we need to flip this upright 
so you know you can forgive and release, let go. Doesn't mean taking anyone back or anything. I feel this is why some of you are feeling confused as well. Um, you're trying to manifest a change in your life. Maybe you're trying to manifest communication from your DM and you're just not seeing any change. And Spirit's saying it's because healing is still needed, which is clearly coming out in, in the energy here. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling like visions though of your DM um, coming through at random times for some of you. Um, maybe when you meditate, when you feel aligned, you really feel connected to your person. Other times you don't. And in dreams as well. I'm getting a lot of emotions. I'm really feeling... It's interesting I said about stomach issues, I'm getting like a very nervous feeling in the stomach, you know, like butterflies in the stomach. Um, so a bit of anxiety for some divine feminines. Yeah, try and ground yourself and rest, as we heard come out there. Okay, so divine masculine energy. Okay, so it's interesting we got the Empress reversed which is Divine Feminine energy, um, but it's distorted. So I'm feeling this is their own inner Divine Feminine energy, which is off balance. So the, D the DM is off balance, essentially. Um, this can also be a karmic though, either a partner or mother is coming through here. Yeah, someone who, a few different messages, if that is a person in their life, it's someone who has made them feel quite weak. They've had some communication issues with that person. The DM is not happy in that situation. The Three of Cups reversed, third party coming out, but it's not positive. It might look it, Divine Feminine, if you're seeing um, stuff on social media. So, yeah, it's interesting. Wow, we got mountains here. And we had the sacred mountain. So, there we go. The DM is facing some challenges and obstacles ahead of them. or in the current energy. They need to navigate you know, their way around this mountain. And um, I feel it's about speaking, speaking up, having the courage to do that, to say how they feel in this situation. Wow, there's definitely mirroring here because for the DM, I'm also getting that jittery feeling in the solar plexus. So I really feel that for some of you, Divine Feminine, you could also be picking up on their energy. You know, if you've experienced this sensation recently. That's quite powerful. Um, yeah, two of cups reversed is what a lot of you don't see. So here's, wow. Yeah. Queen of Wands upright, King of Wands reverse. So there's a karmic relationship in particular coming out here. But it's not working. 
with the two of cups reversed, with no love, one person's left the building. Um, I feel it's the DM, but you know, could be the other person. Um, I mean, I feel it's the DM because they're feeling unhappy right now. It could have already ended, by the way, if this was a marriage, could be over. And the DM is trying to heal. So there's the sun energy again that we had before. Okay, anything else um, on the DM energy? Wow, okay, that really speaks for itself. The Divine Masculine wants to step up into the King of Pentacles energy. Because at the moment they're in this page energy. You see, so they've got this challenge ahead of them. They're not feeling very strong. Um, when they're in that energy, when they're committed and focused, they're going to move forward. They're going to move on from that turbulent energy that they've been in to a, a calmer place. Okay, any other message for the Divine Feminine? two major arcana so a big shift will happen um, you know there is going to be still some time that you need to take to heal rest take time out as you go through a big transformation divine feminine when you do this ego death releasing those things that like I said about before that you're holding on to and then the knight of swords brings change, the bringer of change in your life. So maybe you're going to make changes. You might receive some communication, some good news. Um, you know, this could be from your DM for some of you, if you're both going through this shift at the same sort of time. It depends where you're on, on your timeline, okay? Um, but yeah, quite a big, big shift there um, for you and the connection. Wow, I'm getting a lot of emotions in this reading. So I really would recommend grounding um, exercises for a lot of you. Rest, meditation, try to do chakra meditation and align, aligning as well if you can. Okay everyone, I'm going to extend this reading um, because I think it could really help if we look at challenges you both face, so DM, DF. Um, messages in the 5D, 5D energy for you both. We'll also do some channeled messages from you both to each other and any advice from Spirit as well. So if you're interested, the link to the extended reading is in the description box below. Um, for those of you not going on to that reading, we'll just finish with a charm, the one for the DF, one for the DM. Wow, okay, the sofa for the DM really links with rest. So this could be where they're at right now, just taking time to rest. They might have been ill, they might have been experiencing these ascension symptoms that I mentioned, 
and they need that time to just think things through. Now, that can link for you as well, do I have a minute, obviously, the hanged man, taking that time out to see things differently. And you've got the aeroplane, that's very interesting. Um, symbol of ascension, so with this transformation here, a lot of you are going through. Travel, though, as well, the Knight of Swords, you might be travelling, thinking about going away. Um, but definitely forward movement, and that came out here, obviously, as well, for the DM. Okay, everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um, let us know in the comments if this resonates in any way. As I said, the link to the extended is below. Sending peace, love and light to you all.